Vital is a free VST plugin that can change your beat making life forever. This is a synthesizer. It's used to create sounds from scratch, which you can then play with these keys. Nowadays, it's not necessary to own one of these because you can just download them from the internet and install them on your computer. After watching this tutorial, you will possess the power to create your own unique sounds for free. After downloading and installing this plugin, this is what you'll see. First, mess around with the preset library. This will give you a sense of how it is synth sounds and what it's capable of. This is the part that generates sound, which is called the oscillator. We have three of them and you can simply switch them on or off like this. This right here at the bottom is the sampler, which by default has a noise sample loaded. But you can import any sample there. Let's disable everything except for the first oscillator. This right here is a sound wave. This is the actual sound that you're hearing. From this list, you can choose one of the wave tables, for example, basic shapes. This gives us a sine wave, which is perfect to create, for example, bell sounds. With this slider, you can change the wave table position. This also changes the sound, of course. And here we have the obvious controls, like the level and the panning. You can pitch your sound up or down in semitones, or if you hold down shift, it will jump in octaves. With the one on the right, you can fine tune the pitch. Oh, and by the way, if you double click on any control in Vital, it will reset to its default parameters. Here you can select where to send the sound to. For example, filter one, which you can see at the bottom, but we'll get there in a second. This is the unison, and if you drag this up, you can increase the amount of voices. With the percentage control, you can choose how much detune there is in between those voices. This is the spectral morph, and if you increase it, the wave will change shape, thus it will sound different. You can mess around with different types of morphs here. Let's enable a second oscillator to blow more life into it. We're gonna keep the initial sound wave, which is a saw. Pitch it up an octave and pan it a little to the left. Now it sounds like this. Combined with the sine wave, we have a beautiful instrument, but we're not done yet. Also, consider leaving a like on this video, that would really help me out. First, let's take a look at the envelope. For people who use the envelope in FL Studio, this is basically the same. This graph will show you how the sound is being played, and you can adjust it with these controls. For example, if you want a bell, you need to create a shape like this. Now, increase the attack just a little bit. This controls how long it takes for the sound to reach its highest point. Awesome, now let's take a look at the filter. As you can see, we have two of them, but since we sent both of the oscillators to the first one, we can disable this. With the filter, you can cut away or boost some of the frequencies. The slider on top is used to blend it, and the slider at the side is used to create a resonance. The most important one is the cutoff, but we're gonna do something awesome with that in a second. With the drive knob, you can make the selected frequencies louder, and with the mix knob, you can mix the filter output with the filter input. Next, let's take a look at the LFO. Here we can create a shape, and we can send it to any control in Vital. Let me demonstrate. Click and drag the LFO to the cutoff control. Now if you press play you can see what it does. The cutoff control now follows the shape we created. You can change the tempo right here to make it slower or faster. Now we just created a link between the cutoff and the LFO. So if you go to the matrix you can see that connection here and you can further adjust it if you want. At the bottom right you can see the voices. This right here means that you can play 8 notes simultaneously. With the bend control you can choose how much bend there is in between two notes when you drag the bend knob. With the spread control, you can make the entire sound mono or stereo. Glide controls how much time it takes to glide from one note to another. And now it's time for some effects. You can see them in the effects tab, of course. First of all, let's add an EQ to filter out the lows. I'm doing that because I created a simple bass melody and I don't want the lows to interfere with the bass. Next, let's add some reverb. This one is also super easy to use, just like the other effects. All right, let's take a look at the macros. They are just dummy buttons and they can't really do anything, unless you give them a control. Let's drag the macro to the mix knob of the reverb. Now you can use this button to control the mix of the reverb, of course. Vital also allows you to save your presets by, of course, clicking on the save button. You can then label it, type in your name, select a style and perhaps write down some notes. This means you can also import samples from other producers. Kicks and Beats recently created a preset bank for Vital and he also created a light version which you can download for free. This pack comes with really cool trap bells, keys and everything you need to create some awesome beats. 
Oh, and these five free VSTs will definitely help you level up your beats. So go check them out now. Yes, subscribe, gotta go now.